Hi, I'm John Feyerobin of the Hart School at the University of Hartford. I'm here today to talk to you about a series of picture books we've made for children that are based on folk songs that tell stories. Uh, the first one that we did was called The Crabfish. And the Crabfish is an old English song that tells the story of a, a man whose wife is craving a lobster, only the old English for it, crabfish. The point of these books is that a teacher would sing these songs to children telling the story without the book at first, and then after a couple of lessons where the children just used their ears to listen to the expressiveness of the teacher, the teacher could augment the lesson by bringing the book in and say, oh look, I found a book that has pictures of that song too. Research tells us that children get more information from their ears if they're not looking at something at first. So we don't look at the books until after they've heard the song a couple times. This book is beautifully illustrated by a fellow who helped work on Ice Age, the movie. Uh, in the back of these books, we always include the notation, but the notation is just a skeleton of the music. We should sing the songs with more expression than just the notation. This song wouldn't be sung just with quarter notes and eighth notes. It would be sung more freely. There was a little man, and he had a little wife, and he loved her as much as he loved his life. Masherow, dow, 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 diddle all the day. Masherow, dow, 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 diddle all the day. This book was pretty successful, so we decided to continue on to some other books. But meanwhile, the dean of my art school read an article about this book being released and came to me and said, you know, we have some students that are in a major called illustration, and in the senior year they take a class called Illustrating Children's Books. Would you consider using our students to illustrate some of these books? And so our collaboration began. The next book that came out, There Was a Man and He Was Mad, is the first book that was illustrated by one of these students. And the illustrations are absolutely beautiful telling a story about a gentleman who falls asleep and his toy comes to life and has a series of adventures. Again, the song is in the back of the book, and as I didn't mention before, we also give you an MP3 uh, that you can download from the web. Go to this web page, download the song, and your students can hear Jill Trinka singing the songs uh, for them, so they get that sound as well. Another book we did uh, by a student was called My Aunt Came Back, and then last year, Father Grumble came out, a great old song about a gentleman and a wife who argue about who works harder. And in the end, we find out that the wife works harder. Another song book is coming out this spring, Darby Ram, and we've just begun working on The Frog and the Mouse. So hopefully this will be an ongoing series of folk song picture books. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks very much.